Hey everybody, Suzy Q here and welcome to Q Aquatics. Today I'm going to go over how my frontosa and my convicts are living together. Two very different fish from very, very different parts of the world, different pH levels. I made a mistake. So come on along and I'll show you what I'm doing today. What I do on my channel is I thoroughly enjoy sharing my hobby with anybody and everybody who will listen to it. It has brought me such joy in my life. I am having an absolute blast. Any hobby that gives me this much joy, how can I not want to share it with anybody and everybody? Um, I get to learn new things all the time. I bring it to different levels the more I learn. I get to meet some amazing people, whether it's online or face-to-face. -face. I, I love testing and comparing products, going to different fish stores. There's so many benefits to keeping fish, and I just love sharing what I'm learning. I am not an expert. I am brand new at the hobby. I've been at it for a little over a year and a half. And I put a lot of blood, sweat, and tears into my tanks, from the cleaning and maintenance, early in the morning doing meditation and really studying the communities inside these little glass cubes and how they interact with each other, studying their natural habitat and how I can bring a little bit more of that to them because they are, they're kind of cap they're captive in these little glass boxes and I want to make it as the best living experience I can for my fish. The benefits of this fish hobby far outweigh any struggles. You know, it keeps me it keeps me off the street, so to speak, <laughs> and I'm not getting into detail about that. And then I'm and I'm learning all about breeding. I have a couple breeding projects going on for the fun of it, for profit, or I should say for fish food, and for conservation purposes. So I got a couple different projects going on. But every once in a while, I make a mistake. <laughs> every once in a while, and I try to be as transparent as possible. So let me tell you what happened. Bucks County Aquarium Society meets 7 o'clock at night. I get home probably around 11, 12 o'clock. So if I have fish and I'm acclimating them to their quarantine time, it tends to be about midnight and I tend to be very tired. So I have frontosas and I have yellow convicts. South America on this hand, Africa on this hand, pH of 6, 8, 7 pH over 8. So they don't have the same habitats. And as I was acclimating them and I let the cichlids, uh, the convicts go into the tank, and then I was uh, acclimating the frontosas, which are going to be huge, but right now they're little babies. Somehow or another, I put them in the wrong tank. I didn't notice it for the first couple days because a lot of times baby fish tend to hide or any fish that I get and it's a new surrounding, they tend to hide. This guy's hiding. A lot of my guys hide in the beginning until they get used to it. And I, I give them their space. I don't go moving things around to see if I can find them. Um, and while they're in quarantine, I don't medicate unless it's, I show signs to. So I just let it sit there. And after about three or four days, they started coming out. And I noticed there's nothing in one tank. And I have very opposite cichlids in the same tank. So... What am I gonna do? Of course, I started panicking, thinking I gotta scoop them out. How am I gonna know? And then some of the fry are so tiny. I'm like, which fry is that? They look so similar. And look at these pictures. Like, I'm pretty sure they're frontosas, but are they? And then I was watching this video, this live stream. I was watching this video, and it talked about having a stable pH may be more important than the appropriate pH. Now, I'm not one to, to think outside the box when it comes to fish because I only know what I know from learning and, 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 and what I'm reading and I apply. So I pretty much follow the rules. But in this case, I already goofed. The rules broken, they're in the same tank. So I think I'm going to keep them in this tank until they're ready for, they're each going to go into their own 40 breeder and then the yellow convicts are probably going to stay in the 40 breeder where the frontosas will then move on to a 120 gallon tank and then they're forever home when they get, they get massive.
thanks for checking out how I got my frontosas and convicts in the same time. What am I going to do? Thanks for checking it out, guys.